You're listening to One Family, What's God Doing? Where we explore what God's doing in YWAM locations throughout Virginia. We can't wait for you to find out what God's doing today. Welcome back to What's God Doing? And I've got Falger with me again. And Falger, I want to know, what's God doing in Virginia Beach? Hey, Paul. Good morning. Hey, everyone. Bro, um, we are going through a very good season of... um, I think God is just bringing us the staff and not only as leaders, but the leadership team and the staff to a moment of like just research our hearts. Mm-hmm. So we're going through this like refining moment where God is really preparing us for what is next. And I feel like there's a good season coming. There's a good momentum. You know, our, our, our DTS in September, we already have 11 students accepted and um, normally that's not how it goes. We have, you know, maybe like June, maybe July, we start getting more, you know, getting students, but we already have 11 now and it's still like May, mm-hmm. which is a good momentum. So we are expecting a big DTS this year, which is amazing. Um, we have two of our staff in Montana right now doing a DTS training. Mm-hmm. They call DTS Equip just to know how to work with DTS is better. I think God is really calling us I think last episode we talked about God is just calling us to this moment where uh, we feel God is training us and equipping us to disciple uh, this young generation. So it's been really good to have those people training. We have more people going now to medicine um, to get trained in the same type of school. It's DTS equipped as well. And it's just opportunity of discipleship is coming, but but I, I believe as a community, God is really taking us through a season of, you know, search our hearts and really um, get right things with the Lord. Um, the fear of the Lord is something that's coming a lot. And know, walk in integrity. Uh, let your yes be yes, your no be no. Um, just like watching our words, we are doing a Bible study together every Monday and Friday. We're starting our week based on what a, a word that God gave us to <clears throat> start our week and finish our week with Bible study. So every Monday morning and every Friday morning, we start the day with a Bible study. So we're going through the book of uh, James hmm. and it's been like so um, convincing and challenging uh, to just go through, not only read, but go point by point and really talk, discuss and pray and asking the Lord, no, what can I, how can I change my days on this chapter? How can I change my life? How can I apply this in my day by day when I go out to the, you know, a shopping mall, when I go out to the grocery shop or go to the gas station, go to the streets? Like, how can I apply it really? Instead of just going through a Bible study mm-hmm. and uh, just check boxes and like, we're done, you know, we're done. Yeah. I think God is really challenging us to apply that in our life. So it's been, it's been a good season actually. Uh, consolidating our staff uh, and what the Lord is, you know, kind of like preparing for us, I, I say. So, mm-hmm. but it's, it's, it's been good. I think it's a season that we are like more, uh, despite that we go outside every, you know, maybe two or three times a week and we we have, you know, prayer walks and intercession and public worship, but we also do a lot of evangelism. And uh, and our Friday afternoons are we you know we adopt this Spanish community. I think I mentioned that before. Uh, it's like a trailer park, and we're going every Friday there and just taking you know uh, doing outreach style mm-hmm. uh, with the kids. Lots of kids, bro. And mm-hmm. uh, we're doing kind of like a not like a VBS, but more like a mini DTS. Um, and uh, the girls have like a girls club, and the boys have the boys club. So they're like you know discipling like this small group with the with the kids there and it's being good and most of our people speak spanish so it's not a big you know a big deal to go and 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 disciple this community so but it's still like we need to uh from time to time just stop and really go through the foundational value of why we am go through the principles uh go back to the vision and what god called us mm-hmm. here because you can be caught in so many things and i don't want to just do things just just do things you know we can do so many different things, but I want to do what God is calling us to do and do right. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know, you you mentioned this idea of desiring to do it right, and there's this tension that exists, right? Like for some people, they're not even thinking about any of that. They're just 
doing what they want to do and not thinking about the ramifications of their choices. Now, the other end of the spectrum is someone can feel crippled that if they aren't operating in perfection, that they're going to dishonor God or hurt others. And then you get passages like the Apostle Paul saying, you know, I don't understand what I do because what I hate to do, I do. And what I want to do, I don't do. And so how are y'all shredding that tension of desiring to live in a God-honoring way while also knowing that imperfection <laughs> is the name of the game so often? I think like a, a, a while ago, somebody in our team, I don't remember who uh, brought up, you know, we need to be wise in the things that we do. We need to be wise. I'm using the word wise a lot. Hmm. And, uh, and then we say, okay, let's, let's look what the Bible talks about wisdom. You know, what is to be wise? What is it? And then it says that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Mm-hmm. And it was there we started. And it was like, okay, if I want to be wise, I need to carry the fear of the Lord. What is the fear of the Lord? So we start like as a group, like as, as a base, studying those things. And actually those start bringing like, you know, integrity, you know, uh, honesty. And, you know, do as right. You know, what is the Lord's desire? What is God's plan? So I think all those things start piling up. Mm-hmm. Because we just talk about, it was one word to be wise. And then after that, I think God start unfolding in our community, the desire of like, okay, I want to, I want a wisdom. Um, mm-hmm. But if I want to be wise, you know, I need to have the fear of the Lord if I really want to be wise. So we study like Solomon and the yeah. Nobi, you know, like people in the Bible now start looking at Proverbs and you're like, we, we got caught in this verse and it was like, okay, if I want to be wise, I need to have the fear of the Lord. So Actually, the foundation of what's happening now started in a comment somebody made in a room about being wise. And then we started setting the word wisdom and the fear of the Lord became like something. They were like, okay, it's like, it's like you, you do something in your life. You say something, you act something, you behave in a certain way, knowing that the Lord is watching. Mm-hmm. So it's like to do, you know, and then they go to the you no know, integrity is to do, you know, the right thing when any when nobody's watching, you know, is not only you do some something that you know we do what is what what is right. When you are like have you're surrounded by witnesses, we're surrounded by the church, you're surrounded by the your brothers and sisters, and you look good, you know. Mm-hmm. It was more like, what about when you're alone? You know, what do you do? Do you do the right thing when you're alone? When you're by yourself? So I think that's caught in like catching our attention mm-hmm. into and actually. It does sound like aggressive when you and when you start saying no to some people. And you know, we don't need to say yes to everything. We don't need to agree with everything. And God is just bringing the sense of like, okay, you know, if you don't need this, just say, I don't need it. I don't want it. Uh, no, I'm, I'm not going to, I can't help you today. And, and instead of like sacrificing our time and our integrity because on the sake of serving, I want to serve so I don't care. No, I don't think is that. I think we need to step up now. And start saying no, and that's what we're teaching even our kids. Yeah. You know, if if it's not right, just say no. Oh, but the per- the person will feel hurt. It doesn't matter. Is their problem if they're taking offense? Is they if somebody's offended, it's not your fault. If you're not your intention is not to offend the person, but your intentions are to keep integrity. And sometimes no is okay. And we 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 talked yesterday. We're talking with our staff about. I rather have a no from God. Then a yes from Satan. Mm-hmm. And he's, you know, so those things you need to like process. It's like, it's okay if, 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 if you receive a no. It's okay mm-hmm. if it's, don't be offended. Don't, so all those, it, it goes back to the life of integrity, of being wise, but carrying the fear of the Lord. So that's like kind of caught us into, you know, in, into studying more the verses in, the, in this, the book in, of James and knowing, and we got caught in that. So yeah. that's kind of like where it started the, do what is right, but it's, it started with the fear of the Lord, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, and how can people come alongside y'all as y'all journey through this and journey in what you're doing? Well, we do, we have several, you know, ways I like think, uh, online is the best way. If you are away from Virginia beach, if you want to follow, uh, you know, Instagram or Facebook, if you know somebody that is in the age, you know, after high school, before college, if you have, you know, some, you know, young people that are still wondering, you know, what is what am I here for? What is my call? Uh, what is the purpose that I'm alive? You know, why was it created for? I mm-hmm. think DTS can help answer those questions. 
So we are running a DTS in September. So if you guys know somebody uh, or a friend or, or a, a young person in your church or community that needs to go through a five months discipleship training school, uh, you can find on in our website, you know, ywmvirginiabeach.org or go to Instagram is the same same thing or Facebook page. And you can find more um, uh, get together. If you want to help and support us somehow and if it's financially uh, you can go to our website if you want to help a uh, specific um, staff. Mm-hmm. You just click on their pay on their pictures on the on the our page, uh, uh, ywinvirginiapeach.org, and you can go to you know about and you can see the list and pictures of our staff, and you can click there if you want to help financially. Maybe some something you want to do, you want to help, and you want to support a missionary. You want to be part of missions, but you don't know what to do. But maybe you were called in your sphere in working whatever you're doing. Uh, but he still can be involved with missions like that, and his supporting missionary is one of them. So, yeah, yeah. That's, that's good. And as we close out, is there a verse that God's been putting on your heart? Yeah, yeah. Uh, James five we, uh, nine that says, "Since each of you are part of God's family, never complain or grumble about each other, so that judgment will not come on you, for the true judge is near and very ready to appear." And that word actually. Uh, you know, if you're part of God's family, do not uh, complain or grumble. Grumble is like to blame others for your troubles, to blame mm-hmm. others for your responsibility. So God is really speaking with us to stop complaining. First thing is like when you start when you start complaining about something, it's because you're not trusting God enough that you're telling God is not in control. When you mm-hmm. start complaining about anything, it means that you are not trusting enough to say, you got this, God, you know, because complaining, one, is worshiping Satan. That's complaining, okay? Because you're giving credit to Satan and say, God, you're not perfect. You're not good enough. And grumble is when you start blaming people for your your responsibilities. I can just say, you know, to my kids, you know, if you just obey me and you do what I say, I'm not going to be angry. I'm not going to be mean. That's my problem, being angry and mean. It's not their problem, you know? So I, I need to stop blaming others for my responsibilities. Mm-hmm. So that's James 5, 9. Yeah, yeah. When I appreciate what that represents ties into what you were saying earlier, that you all are striving to not just live, but serve with integrity. And I think that's so important because it's not always the case. And so I'm... thank you all for striving to do that and uh, for sharing today. And, and I want to thank all of you for listening and not just for listening, but for walking with us as we together, as one family, explore what it means to know God and make him know. If you'd like to learn more about what God's doing in Virginia, visit us at ywamva.org and join us next week for more stories of God at work. All one